John Hagerly, congratulations. You are the NAIA Coach of the Year in a never ending season, playing in the fall and in the spring. And now you have a two minute off season. So, what's been the biggest challenge of playing kind of all year round this year for you? <laughs> Staying healthy and focused. You know, certainly with all the health issues, we don't even need to go into that, but just really trying to make sure that we're being healthy and then um, hand in hand, focusing on the season, focusing on our goals, focusing on having a healthy culture on our team. It was a challenge to do that for nine months. What do you mean? We certainly know all the COVID health challenges. What do you mean about a healthy culture? What does that mean to you? Um, healthy culture, at least for us, is are we focusing on each other and are we bringing out the best in each other? Those are the two things we talk about. And um, in this society, when you're constantly evaluating yourself and, and this year, obviously, with our health, constantly testing those types of things to pour out into each other and to take care of each other took on new relevance. And so I was pleased. I was proud with our players because they did a great job. Well, University of Jamestown, your school, won the regular season title, the conference title, and we're in the semifinals for the national championship. A 30 and two finish. What was the biggest factor in terms of your success, do you think? Because yeah, I, everybody dealt with the COVID year, but not everybody was 30 and two. Yeah, um, I think the biggest part is our players truly love each other. And, you know, we think that's the strength of our team uh, is how we, how we um, leverage our talent collectively as a group and and just probably the biggest thing is we just tried not to take things out of our control too seriously because that was easy to do uh, because there's a lot of stress going on right now in in athletics and in trying to to navigate a season like this and so uh, we tried to have a lot of fun i know that sounds strange but one of our one of our mantras was let's make sure we enjoy ourselves let's make sure that we enjoy what we're doing uh, because i feel pretty strong that if you like what you're doing, you know, like the people you're doing it with, man, the sky's the limit. For sure. I mean, the gratitude certainly is a theme I've heard from everybody this year. So now you have a different challenge. You have a two minute off season, pretty much, right? I mean, <laughs> the season's coming up again. So how do you prepare for a season that's really right around the corner after this year? Yeah, Emery, I'm a big fan of rest. I'm a big fan of rest throughout the season, making sure we're taking care of ourselves. And I'm a big fan of rest now. So I've already, I already told our players, we're done with school now. And I said, I, we're not doing anything for at least four weeks, which was really difficult for them because they're really excited about next season. But you know, we have to make sure that we, what is it, everything in moderation. We have to make sure we don't overdo it and we don't burn ourselves out. And, and we take care of the other things in life because I think you know, a, a big part of having a healthy culture is having a real good balance in life, academically, socially, spiritually, emotionally. They need time with family. They need time with friends. And quite honestly, we're getting a little sick of each other. So it would be nice just to take a break and then come back and really enjoy seeing each other. What a fantastic philosophy. John, congratulations. You are the NAIA ABCA Coach of the Year. Well, I, I appreciate it. It's a, it's a humbling honor, but it certainly is an honor. And so uh, it's, it's a little bit surreal. So I'm not quite sure how to react to that, but um, our team is proud of that.